Well, according to YouTube, it's been 205 days and 18 hours since I have posted my last video. So yes, it has been quite a bit. Appreciate all of you that were looking out for me and asking if I was okay. Everything's all good. It took a bigger promotion at work and life and everything has just gotten crazy. But we have great news and we've got a great story to tell along the way. So we've got Astro Gear on the way. So we are starting over. So if you're starting over or starting new, we're going to take those steps and kind of help you guys through it. So my name is Chad. This is the Easy Astro Images channel. And we are finally going to collect some photons today. Well, not today. We got to wait on everything to get here. So what is, uh, what did I get? So my whole goal on all of this adventure this time around, we've talked about my issues and stuff like that living in Ohio. And I know a lot of you have a lot of comments, uh, apologizing for that fact. And yeah, I get it. That's for sure. But there's a lot worse places. So my main goals were to get the most bang for my buck to get some quick and easy success and just to kind of keep like things reasonable because again, this is a huge expense and you, you guys know if you're into astrophotography, you know what this expense can be. And I've done this a few times before in my life. So let's just start with what I have. So luckily I've got a gang of cables. I've got a telescope. So we've got the six inch RC, which is going to put us with one of our, uh, star zoner. Uh, what do we have here? We've got, uh, the apex ED extender reducer flattener, and this is going to probably put us, I think around like 750, 800 uh, millimeters of focal length, which is totally different than what I've been used to shooting with for a long time. So I kind of put that scope away and just never used it again once we got into Rasa and then Red Cat and on and on. So we're going to be using that. What are we going to be attaching it to? Well, in my selling everything, I sold my AVX mount, but I kept the tripod. And the reason why is because I knew that if I was going to get back into astrophotography, it was going to be with an AM5. But what I decided to go with was the AM3, uh, basically just because I don't see the extra thousand dollar value there right now to go with the AM5 for me personally. If I went with another scope, it's always going to be something a little bit lighter. And the AM five like worked amazingly well and from what i see it still does am3 maybe it won't work as well but you know i think it's going to be just fine we'll see here when it shows up so if you're interested that six inch rc is kind of similar to this carbon star kind of stuff that's out now so gso was like a company that was owned by oceanside pacific and telescope which isn't around anymore so this is kind of like their new offerings they're doing all these in like carbon tubes so that way they're a little bit lighter and there's a little bit less flex and everything that can go on temperature variations and all that stuff and you can just kind of see how everything just is gonna connect right to the back and speaking of connecting right to the back, what kind of camera are we going to have hooked to the back of this thing? Well, I am uh, sticking with what I know, but we are putting another twist on it. Remember how I said cost effective and easy and bang for the buck? Well, you don't get any better really than the 2600 MC Air. And the biggest reason why I chose this is that I have my mini PC that I still need to like update and upgrade and all that kind of stuff. We have my ASI air is like the second generation. And this has got, of course, something newer built into it. Biggest thing though, is like, I just wanted one of the dual cameras and I figured, well, I'll just go ahead and get this one since it's got the guide camera and it's got the ASI air built into it and everything will be super easy. I can get some instant gratification, just start collecting images. You know, we got the big iPad, very handy and all that kind of stuff. And then we've got flexibility. Cause I know that when you try to hook these things up with, uh, Nina that it gets kind of confused and PhD and everything else. Maybe it's all been sorted out, but I've only been able to find like one video on it. I think that Queeve did, um, and really the fix is just to add a guide scope and a guide camera down the road. And then you don't have to worry about every, anything at all. 
But until then, everything would just be all in one and like focusing and just dealing with everything, separate guide cameras and all that stuff like that. It's just sounds like a complete, you know, hassle that I just don't want to get into now. If I didn't get the 2600 uh, MC Air, I would have went with the Duo and just stuck it out and bought like the second guide camera and a cheap guide scope. Maybe I should have went that route, but I think this route is pretty cool and it's kind of like the perfect thing. I honestly loved the the whole innovation that is behind this product right here. I was pretty surprised when I first saw it like pop up on my Facebook feed. So it looks like everybody's loving it. You know, I took my best images ever with this 2600 uh, sensor combined with the Red Cat. So I'm super excited. The pixel size and all that stuff isn't going to really like match if you want to get all matchy matchy and stuff when it comes to what that RC6 is going to do. But, you know, I don't really care about all that shit. It's all good. So we've got the AM3. We've got the camera, um, guider, ASI Air, all that kind of fun stuff coming. And I still have like filters. So I've got like some dual band filters. Um all that stuff. We've got power cables, connectors. We've got the AVX tripod. I did buy the tripod extension for the AM3. Um, I see that they came out with a new version with a new plate. Now I'll have to put my old screw uh, back in because I did do the hardware switch over. Uh, Astro Blender did some videos about that as well. So we got all that ready to go. So I'm pretty excited. And, you know, it's it's really cool. It's bittersweet to be starting all over again because as I went through and like looked at all this stuff, I just watched a couple of my videos and was thinking about just how awesome my a my uh, you know AM5 and Red Cat 51 setup was. Like it was just complete automated nirvana. I mean, I had the file sharing stuff going on. We had like the remote cameras. Everything was there. So it's going to take a little bit to build it all back to that point. And starting over or starting new in astrophotography can be a pretty big challenging thing. And I hopefully like with this kind of setup, it will encourage people to go ahead and show them that they can get great results without like doubling the price. Or like I said, spending that extra thousand dollars on that AM five N versus an AM three. And then damn, there's just so much software stuff that's going on. Like I've been binge watching YouTube for the past two days and I don't really know what like flipped the switch back on again. It was just something just flipped the switch that it's like, well, I can only race RC cars so much. And I've kind of really dialed back on that as far as like, I know what I want to do now. So it's not eating up crazy amounts of time. Work is starting to kind of settle in a little bit more now that I've settled into my role a little bit more, but you know, it's in healthcare. So that goes up and down. My dog, he's almost three years old now, and he loves being outside, even though at nighttime in the dark, we got to watch for skunks and all that kind of stuff. So we're just kind of in a good place right now where we can dedicate some time and expand our minds and start building out the relationships that we had here on the channel before. So there's plenty of stuff for us to be doing until everything starts showing up here next week. So we clean scope, we got cables, we've got software that we can install. I've already started downloading all the upgrades for Pics Insight, Frank's awesome stuff, and we've got lots of cool videos to watch. Uh, big shout out, I think, to Rich. I think I was watching his Next Dome series and everything that he was going through as far as like just trying to work through all the problems and like the money that he had spent on that thing. And man, I hope you're at least, I hope you're enjoying it. I really hate that you're going through that, sir. Um, if you get to see this, uh, you know, I need to go onto your videos and make a couple comments on those and stuff now. So, but it looks like you've persevered for it. I mean, I guess when you're in that much, you just have no choice, but to keep on going. Um, so I hope you're getting some enjoyment out of that. And again, I appreciate all you guys and the channel members that have still stuck with me throughout all of this. Um, Thank you very much for the six or seven members that are there. I need to go through and look at that, recompile a list, all that good stuff. 
and get this thing going. So the next thing we'll be talking about is we'll be going through some software and all that kind of stuff in the next video, because I think that'll be really handy just to kind of show you guys from the start, if you're starting new or starting over like me, what all this entails. So we will talk to you guys here much sooner. So peace.